Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video on our channel and today we are going to discuss regarding the Cognizant training. So those students who have uh, selected for Cognizant for the CSD badges, they uh, are asking me some uh, some of them already got onboarded for training and some of them are uh, waiting for the onboarding so those who have been uh, waiting they were worried about like what is happening in the cognizant those uh, csd candidates who have already getting started with their trainings what is happening with them what they are going through right now and what is happening with their trainings how they are getting trained and everything regarding that so this video is going to be regarding that only and we are going to give you the everything details regarding what is going on and what which badge is having what phase now and when they might uh, complete their trainings and all so we are going to discuss about that but before moving on if you are new to the channel make sure to click on the subscribe button join our telegram for any discussions and also make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing to not miss any onboarding hiring exam and interview updates we post regularly so first of all uh, as i have mentioned again and again that there is uh, basically two stages for this cognizant uh, csd training for some uh, for some particular domains they might divide the training into three four uh, uh, different different uh, stages as well but basically there is generally only two stages uh, mainly first of all there is the stage one and after that there is going to be a qualifier assessment in the stage one they will teach you the basic uh, programming languages and all okay might might be java might be c sharp uh, might be uh, any uh, coding language particularly like uh, C++ or anything like that also might happen some for some might be mainframe or python also and SQL and other database uh, terms also might be there so mostly all the uh, almost all the um, domains candidates have SQL and at least SQL along with that there some of them might have C sharp some of them might have Java and other languages but SQL generally almost everyone have so if you are waiting for onboarding i will suggest uh, try preparing with your sql stuff okay now uh, you can check my playlist i'll give the link in the description for learning sql easily but uh, sql knowledge is mandatorily you can uh, say for almost all the domains it is mandatory and after that and that learning of stage one is done there is a qualifier assessment and this qualifier assessment is going to be uh, for like you have to score 70 percent at least marks in the qualifier assessment to pass and move on to the next stage that is the stage two okay so there will be compresses of uh, coding questions uh, so if suppose your domain have uh, java sql uh, this thing okay so you will get coding from both java and sql and also there will be some other topics which uh, which will be like uh, html css or might be like cloud or anything uh, some random topics will be given along with those from there you can expect uh, mcq questions okay so mcq and coding both questions are there in the qualifier assessment and their your overall score should be more than 70 percent to go to the next stage and after, so most of the candidates who have been uh, like their onboarding has been done in uh, november or december most of them are already done with their uh, qualifier assessment and they are heading to the stage two uh, training and stage two preparation but those candidates who have been onboarded in the January end and all, they are still waiting for their qualifier assessment. They might have their qualifier assessment by February end or March first week like that. Okay. And after that, they are also going to go for the stage two training. And in the stage two training, they will get you, give you the domain specific trainings like uh, whatever domain you get. Uh, there will be particular text stack, uh, text stack for that particular domain or particular subdomain. There will be particular technologies which you have to use new technologies, not just fundamental coding languages. There will be new technologies training and all. So you have to learn that, and you have to. Uh, they might they might give you some uh, projects, and they might ask you to make some uh, case study. Uh, so you have to complete those projects and case studies, uh, and you have to show them. And after the projects, also there will be a uh, interview SME. Interview interview will be there so there will be basically two uh, two uh, projects and two sma interview first one is interim and next one is going to be your final so interim also there is a sma interview and for final also there is a sma interview so we have to give the both of the in sma interviews and then uh, after if you there also you have to have a uh, at least more than 70 percent marks and after that uh, your training is completed if you clear both of these uh, with 70 percent marks so there is for qualifier there is generally no uh, second chance but for the uh, sma interviews the, if you are not clearing in one chance they generally give you one more chance so that's how it works 
and if you want to see the detailed videos regarding the stage one or stage two process i have already posted that uh, those videos regarding the detailed procedure and detail how to clear uh, what type of questions and what is the different phases and all so i have made de detailed separate separate videos for those i will give all those videos link in the description you can check from there as well